Hello folks, it's Beard Boy OG here, and I have myself a pretty big problem. I have an extremely low amount of food. So today, we are going to be adding to our little settlement over here, and we're going to build ourselves a farming sector. Yes, we're going to have ourselves a farmhouse with food, so I don't die. Let's get started. Okay, so if we're going to have ourselves a little area here for food what i was thinking is that right here we'll have ourselves a farming field mainly probably a wheat field with a bunch of other uh ad added veggies that this game offers i was thinking somewhere over in this section here right next to our home will be a good spot to put a little building and then we'll have a bunch of wheat a bunch of uh let's say potatoes carrots cabbage stuff like that anything we can find we can do it in sections so a little bit gated off have a main building in the middle in this main section kind of like if you go to a local store it's all split up into sections i think that would look better because i'm also doing this for aesthetics so before we do anything i need to go find food ah yes after a while looking we have some potatoes which this will come in handy this is a decent food source not anything too crazy we're also gonna have to make sure that we have a good source of coal Ooh, we have ourselves carrots so much easier than vanilla minecraft where these are extremely rare oh boy where have i got myself into nope no i don't like this i don't like this i'm getting out of here there's no way i'm staying here hey guys while you're going and watching the video could you consider subscribing that'd be great Okay, I don't know where I am, but there is a lot, and I mean a lot of food. I wonder if that means there's a village somewhere nearby. I don't know why there'd be a random garden. Maybe it's their garden, but it's like kind of too far away. So I'm just going to take everything for myself. Let me see if I can get myself a doggo. Nope, that was my only one. How dare you? Well, I completely forgot that we have our own built-in map here. We go straight from our little area here here right through the forest right through this river over to here we should have ourselves a village it looks like oh yay looks like we have ourselves some more food and something to explore i'm being very careful because this is reminding me of a trap i'll take the food okay i'll take them that's good and then do we have anything else up there looks like we do Ooh, chainmail boots with aerial affinity and per uh, projectile prediction one that's not bad for us right now hey so we found what was on that map and this is kind of not looking like a village i don't know what even what that is also look at that you don't get minecraft generation like that in the vanilla game but it looks like it's only those two maybe no it looks like maybe more is there anybody home getting some weird vibes from here like this could have been a civilization but now it's abandoned maybe that could be what happened there's a bunch of farmland that's just going to waste. Oh, we got hit by poison ivy. Oh, I'll take all of you. It must be an abandoned village of some type because there's just nobody here. Oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. I've got you a treat. Maybe it was salmon. I don't think you can give cooked salmon to a cat though. Go back. Ow, nope, unfortunately not. All right. Ooh, yay. Wild onions. Our first find in the generation of the world, not in chess, of the brand new food in the better Minecraft mod pack. I, I'm happy we found something that wasn't already in a, in a chest. Okay, I may have found a biome that's a little bit more beautiful than the one we live in. We are definitely saving the coordinates for this place. I don't like the night. 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you, Minecraft gods. Oh, now that we're surviving somewhat, I'm going to look and see what we have here. Melon seeds. I'll take it. I'll take it. What can we get rid of? We can get rid of those. We got more gold. That's good. We'll get another bread. I'll take the bones. And then... Oh, that's mending. What in the world is this? Good to know that there's a village nearby. I'm hearing things spawn. Is this a dungeon? I don't like the sound of that. Not at all. Yeah, this looks like a dungeon. 
I am not ready. What it takes to probably go through that right now. I can guarantee that's a full episode on its own. Our first village. And, ooh, you sell honeycombs. That's cool. You're a florist. Flowerist. I also like that some of these look a little bit different in terms of design. Yeah, they're still the same villager houses we all know and love, but there is a little bit of a change. We have ourselves a waystone. Um, we don't need a cooked salmon. Let's be honest. We, we don't need a cooked salmon, but what we do need is a waystone. Now we have, have the ability to teleport from place to place. This is gonna be the last thing that I take from this before I go home, and that's gonna be this wild asparagus. Okay. Attempt number three at some doggos. Oh, we got a doggo. Can we get two doggos? Come here, bud. We have two doggos. Okay, outside of these random blocks here, we have a lot of stuff that we can use for potential food, so I'm gonna get this started. Okay, now it's time to grab ourselves some wood. And to stay within theme, I'm gonna go for this wood here. I think this could look really nice. Okay, folks, I'm gonna start the general building process. I'm going to outline the area in fences, especially uh, where everything we wanna grow and then where the actual farmhouse is gonna be. And you'll be able to see it after the spin. Oh, and looky that. It is complete. And I also started a little bit of what this is going to look like once we have it done. I'm still in the designing part. That is going to be next. And as we head into here and go through, we have ourselves a little boxed-in area. Perfect to put a bunch of plants. Now, time to get rid of these flowers. And there we go. It is now fully ready for us to start bringing plants in here. Okay, now we have a little sections where we can put all of our plants and it starts over here. We have three by three sections. Then it goes to this entire spot, which will be its own section. Same thing over here. And then over here is a little bit more wonky because I had to go and turn it over, but it's fine. I'm fine with it having a little bit of variation as time goes along. So it's time to start adding the plants themselves. Okay, now we got everything tilled up and it's starting to come together. I will mine some spots like right here and just replace them just so it's a little bit easier to walk. Editor Beard Boy here. Now time to start the farmhouse because my mic didn't record the audio. Also, everybody. If you guys have a name for these two, leave them in the comments. These guys are awesome. But we are complete. We have this part here where we have our carrots, wheat, onions, all of everything you'll ever want. Well, that we have access to. And then we have the actual farmhouse, which we have a couple of chairs. We have shelving. And we have storage over here, which we can expand one more. I don't really have it on me, but I can make more for now. I'm just gonna leave it like this. For now, the inside's fine. I am really liking how it turned out. And I like how it's the centerpiece for this entire area and everything's starting to grow. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Now, as we head through, it is looking wonderful. This is actually one of the best farms when it comes to 
Minecraft farm, not automatic farms, but just like your basic uh, farms where you have to harvest the crops. I think this is one of my better looking I've made. There will be some things I'll change in future episodes, but for now I am really happy with how it went. And I hope you guys were happy with how it went. If you did, consider coming down below, telling me how you thought of today's episode. Consider subscribing because subscribing always helps. And like the video because it lets YouTube know that you like this content and we'll send it to more people. I've been Beard Boy OG and I'll see you guys in episode three.